How you doing today? This is yours truly here. Uh, sitting here trying to explain to you how to make a hidden homeless camp from uh, the people of the world. You know, they got their own thing going on nowadays. Everybody's just mad. Place to come be quiet, read your Bible, avoid the hodgepodge and the stress and the finesse and the puff and the daily grind. This is it right here, man. You know, you want to get some, uh, some of these, uh, branches here and you want to you want to get a circumference you know like what I did here I'm not trying to get up here but you want to put them up all over here and once you get them up all over here as you can see for yourself you want to tie them together so that they don't fall down you know you want to do these X formations I got these X formations anything can get your time on you know I use this like leather holes that I picked up up there anything the tires uh, uh, then you tie them up like that, and then you cover up the top. You know, uh, cover the little birds now living over here because it's so <laughs> it's so green. You know, look at that little creature over there. <laughs> they, don't, they don't understand it's winter time, so everything's bare. So if I have my tent here, you can see it miles ahead. But with this shit, you don't really see it. Look at this little bird over there. Little friend over there comes over here every day, gets his food here. You know, it's happy. Don't bother me. You know, when I first came in, he was scared of me. You know, he'd see me and run away. Uh, not no more. You know, got beautiful creatures in there. I was living for God. God feeds that little bird. That's what the Bible says. Uh, be like the fowls of the air. They neither reap nor sow. But your Father in heaven takes care of them. That's what we need to be like. So when coming to this place here, I try to put this tent up. You know, and um, that's what it is. Uh, and uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that little bird over there eating whatever he's eating. You want to come here and get quiet peace time to uh, read the Bible, study, and not be disturbed by the uh, people coming out here and trying to ruin your life because their lives are really miserable and they believe in material possessions and money and owning stuff. You're not wrong with owning stuff, but once your stuff gets to the bottom of your head and the top of your head and you got a problem, you know, that's what it is. That's, uh, that's what it is. That's what we're doing out here um, is putting this tan up here. I mean, people are gonna gonna know you live here, but it's it's hidden. So 90% of the people uh, don't really know, but 10% of them is observant enough to know that, you know. So that's my thing here. Yeah, I just setting up this tent here. Um, let's just leave it at that. So, as you can see, that's, that's the tent right there. That's the, um, uh, there's a little space back there. Uh, and it's like the wood. So, I'm not here to do anything crazy. People think I am, but I'm here to just spend some life like everybody else. You know, God gave us this life, so we gotta live it. And I'll figure it out that since I'm already out here, I might use this opportunity to talk about, you know, some of the gospel. You know, I, have, I don't want to get to my personal story, but it's what I'm doing right now. I'm about to set up a tent because it's about to be rush hour. Uh, the cars buzzing over there and see you, the buses and all that. So you might want to do this if you want to piss mine. But I'm, I'm going to tell you this. If, you, if you're coming out here and you're drinking and you're doing your, your drugs, it's not going to work because it's going to just create a mess. You know what I mean? If you've got lifestyle, you want to be downtown where you can, where there's access to your services and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you free to leave anywhere. Alright, that's my video for today, man. God loves you. God bless you.